Welcome back to Tip Tuesday. What we're going to be talking about today is stopping distance. Uh, first and foremost, what we're wanting to do is confirm you've got a really good position on the bike that allows you to keep your eyes up. Uh, the best advice I could ever give anybody for increasing your amount of awareness while on the bike is keeping your eyes up and paying attention to what's going on around you. While the responsibility for your stopping distance is on you as the rider, there's a bunch of other factors that are gonna, that are gonna play into that. One of those things, and probably the more common, especially for us here in the Pacific Northwest, is rain. As you're riding your bike in the rain, which there is some caution there, uh, the biggest thing that you'll notice is a reduced amount of stopping distance. Um, the water that will interact with your disc brakes is going to reduce the overall amount of friction that is produced every time you're using those brakes, and it is your responsibility to be able to compensate for that. So if you've watched our other Tip Tuesday videos, you may have run across the one on your cockpit setup. Um, a cockpit setup like we've outlined in that video is all but going to guarantee that your positioning on the bike is going to be conducive for you to be able to keep your eyes up and to pay attention to what's going on around you. If you can plan well enough, you're not going to have any problems with any of this. And just to underline once more, that is the goal here, is to be able to plan enough, both for braking and for shifting as the grade changes or in the, or, or, and or as the conditions change. All right, thanks for tuning in for another Tip Tuesday. We'll see you again next week.